There are four components to the, our breast health panel. We have uh, vitamin D, might seem obvious, uh, but it's important. We have uh, iodine levels, important. We have omega-3, 6, uh, what is that ratio? It's important to general well-being and not just breast health. And lastly, how is a woman breaking down estrogens? Because not all estrogens are the same. Some can break down products of estrogen, can damage breast tissue and uterus, and some are excreted safely in the urine. So for bringing these four tests together allows us to measure where a woman is at in terms of those particular risks. The good news is that all four of those things are easy to change. So if you have a deficiency in vitamin D, it's easy to fix. If you have a deficiency in iodine, easy to fix. If your omega-6-3 ratio is not favorable and is pro-inflammatory, easy to fix with putting in the right levels of omega-3s. Equally, if, you're, if a woman is metabolizing estrogens in a way where she's producing more toxic estrogens, the damaging ones to breast tissue, then there are some simple nutritional tricks for making the body metabolize estrogen more safely. Now that's an example of what we call nutrigenomics or nutrigenetics or epigenetics, which is where uh, a, a molecule, in this case a particular nutrient, can influence the way that a gene expresses itself. In this case, changing the enzymes that metabolize estrogen in a more favorable way.